Justice Secretary Menardo Guevara says Monday, August 26, the processing of early release of inmates under the Good Conduct Time Allowance or GCTA law is briefly suspended. Guevara says the suspension will be temporary so the Department of Justice, Bureau of Corrections, and Bureau of Jail Management and Penology can review existing guidelines for granting GCTAs, including internal procedures. The GCTA law can slash up to half an inmate's sentence if there is sustained good behavior. It was a possibility of early release for convicted murderer and rapist Antonio Sanchez that pit the spotlight on loopholes of the law. But Malacanang says inmates convicted of heinous crimes should be excluded, like rape and murder. This will disqualify Sanchez from early release. Senate Minority Leader Franklin Gillon, the former Justice Secretary who prosecuted Sanchez and his six accomplices, calls the suspension a, quote, welcome development. President Rodrigo Duterte skips the National Heroes Day ceremony at the Libingan ng mga Bayani Monday, August 26. House Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano represents him at the event. Duterte previously skipped other noteworthy events like Independence Day and Rizal Day in 2017 and Bonifacio Day in 2018. In his National Heroes Day statement, the president urges Filipinos to be, quote, everyday heroes that uplift society as a whole. He adds, it is through our small deeds that the spirit of valor of our heroes can live on. Vice President Lenny Robredo, meantime, says Filipinos should stand up for people's freedoms and rights at a time when democracy and sovereignty are under threat. Eight former senators signed a statement supporting a proposal to include detained Senator Lila de Lima in Senate sessions through electronic communications. Former President Noynoy Aquino, former Senators Bobby Tanyada, Kit Tatad, Rene Sagisag, Serge Osmeña, Mar Rojas, Sunny Chilianes, and Bam Aquino says the Lima's detention is keeping her from performing her duties as a senator. Their joint statement reads, quote, We support any similar initiative to enable Senator de Lima to vote on key bills and resolutions tabled in the plenary sessions, to participate in important meetings and caucuses with her fellow senators, and to personally conduct public hearings of her committee within Camp Crame in Quezon City. In late July, Senate Minority Leader Franklin Gillon and Senator Panfilo Lacson filed a Senate resolution to allow the Lima to participate in plenary debates and committee hearings via teleconferencing, video conferencing, and similar methods. The Lima has been detained in Camp Crame since her arrest over drug charges in February 2017. A fierce critic of President Rodrigo Duterte, she says the charges are a form of political persecution. Continuing her functions as a legislator, the Lima asks Google Philippines to be more aggressive in taking down fake videos on YouTube that serve political agendas. She cites a study tracking digital disinformation in the 2019 Philippine midterm election, which claims YouTube played a huge role in disinformation in the Philippines, especially in the recent May 2019 elections. The study tags several YouTube channels like Tokhang TV and Duterte News Portal, which the Lima says target opposition leaders. Hong Kong police say Monday, August 26, they were forced to fire a water cannon and a warning shot to fend off what it calls, quote, extremely violent demonstrators. This comes as clashes with police erupt at pro-democracy rallies this weekend in the semi-autonomous hub. Fifteen officers were injured while dozens of protesters were arrested, including a 12-year-old for unlawful assembly, possession of weapons, and assaulting police. Police used tear gas against the protesters who had built barricades and thrown bricks and Molotov cocktails at lines of riot cops. Police confirmed they deployed two water cannon vehicles to stop the so-called violent acts. The jets hit the barricades as demonstrators ran for cover. The protests were sparked by the controversial China extradition bill, but this evolved into a wider call for greater democracy and police accountability. Gilas Pilipinas will parade a mix of rising stars and battle-tested veterans in the FIBA World Cup in its final 12-man lineup. The lineup includes Andre Blatch, Junmar Fajardo, Paul Lee, Japheth Aguilar, Gabe Norwood, first-timers Kiefer Ravenna, Raymond Almazan, Mark Barocca, Troy Rosario, Roger Pogoy, and PBA rookies Robert Bolick and CJ Perez. Based on the measurements provided, the average height of the Philippine team is estimated at 6 foot 4. The Philippines will begin its World Cup race against Italy on August 31, then Serbia in September 2, and Angola on September 4. The team is in FIBA's Group D and will play in Foshan, China.